Good afternoon and welcome to the Jess Strom Show. I'm your host, Katie Tetzlaw. We're here to talk all things about Cal U women's basketball. Before we get to our head coach, Jess Strom, we have two amazing special guests, youngsters, the freshmen in the house, Lauren Bennett, Maya Woodyard. Um, ladies, if you could introduce yourself to the viewers out there today, that would be greatly appreciated. I'm Lauren Bennett. I'm a freshman here at Cal. I'm originally from McCannon, West Virginia. I graduated from McCannon Upshire High School. I'm currently undecided and I'm a guard. Um, my name is Amaya Woodyard. I play point guard. My major is sports management here. I'm from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania and I play for Harrisburg High School. All right. And ladies, um, two people that actually are sitting here right now with nicknames. Um, LB and Maya, which we'll refer to. Obviously Lauren Bennett, Maya Woodyard. So, Maya Woodyard. So, that's how we're referring to you today. So just think, one year ago almost at this time, you were just finishing up your high school basketball season. Um, you had the opportunity to play at the next level. What were some of your thoughts, um, Lauren, about what you were looking in in a program if you were going to play? Just talk to me about the recruiting process and how you came to come to Cal U. Um, honestly, I was very indecisive if I wanted to play at the next level. I played with the same group of girls my entire life, so that bond that you form is like, it's so special, it's different. So I didn't know if I was willing to kind of let that go and try something new with a whole new group of girls meeting completely different people from everywhere. And um, once I got in contact with the coaches, came and visited Cal, saw how nice the school was, um, heard a little bit more about the program, I really thought that it was a great fit for my style of play. I'm a defensive team, I'm a defensive player, so I think that really helped me decide if I wanted to play. Just a good fit yeah. all the way around. And, and Maya, how about you? Um, what, you know, what is the same, what was the process for you and, you know, what made you want to come to Cal U? Um, I was kind of opposite of Lauren. I wasn't really indecisive. I knew I wanted to go to college to play basketball, but I didn't really know where at the time. But looking into Cal U, I seen like the record, the winning, how they was like a team, how they formed together. I thought it was a great fit. And yeah. also the facilities around. Those. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, great fit both ways. Two freshmen right now playing double-digit minutes on a team that's 18 and two, uh, making their way through the PSEC. So pretty big impact um, as freshmen playing that significant minutes, uh, one in 17 games and one in 19 games. So, you know, tell me about when you first got to campus and, and you thought, about the season and what was coming up. Preseason, you have to get to first. Um, that's before you, we get to do anything. Tell, tell us, Lauren, what you thought about preseason coming into Cal. Um, I was really nervous about preseason, knowing what was ahead of me, knowing what I was gonna have to go through. So actually going through it was a lot tougher than I thought. It was <laughs> definitely a big trans transition. Um, it's hard on your body, getting up every day at 5.30, going and knowing that you're just going to work for a whole hour at 6 a.m. like that's so different to me I never experienced anything like it but after I got through it I looking back it was definitely beneficial yeah and, and do you think it's an accomplishment after you're done it or were you after you're done and you go into did you feel accomplished uh, most definitely yeah. it definitely gives you like a big feeling of satisfaction knowing that you made it through that yeah you worked out absolutely and, and Maya for you what what did you think about um you know the preseason well going into preseason I was pretty like uh, nervous too because I thought like I was definitely out of shape everybody else was <laughs> going to be uh, perfect uh, strong faster than me but everybody was pretty much the same um, but I, it was really tough in the beginning um, but I pushed through it taught me how to like persevere and stuff mm -hmm. and work harder so now in, into the grind of it um, you know you have formed relationship with you know, the, the players, the coaching staff, people around campus. Um, you know, it, you're, you're technically always in basketball terms, they say after your freshman year, first fre semester, your freshman year, you're not really a freshman anymore because you should know what's going on and how everything goes. Um, what was your process, Lauren, about, you know, after preseason, jumping right into season and then really starting to go full go? Was it easy? Was it hard for you to adapt? Um, what were the big differences from the high school level to the collegiate level for you? Well, definitely practices. Uh, again, they're at 6 a.m. That's completely different to me. They were three hours to begin with. I'm not was not used to that at all. But now that season started and we're getting through, it's just honestly like a great experience. You form a bond with these girls. They're like your built-in friends here at school. And um, I don't know. I just think that I was really meant to be with here with this team. Like 
Yeah, absolutely. And Maya, for you, um, talk to us a little bit about, you know, from where you were at the beginning to where you are now, you know, how you've kind of gotten the swing of things and, and how you approach things day by day. Well, yeah, uh, the shift from high school to college is definitely different. I mean, the pace is way faster. Everybody's faster than you. And um, in the beginning of the season, I was really fatigued. I was slower. I was mentally not there. I wasn't pushing through. But now, like, now it's the second half of the season. I've gotten better with it, and I've been, like, pushing through fatigue and trying to... But it's a learning it. process. You just said that, you know. This is something that you have never done before. It's something new. It's something different. You know, at your schools for four years, at your high schools, you, you, you started one time as a freshman, and you probably don't even think about it. You, you just remember your senior year. Mm -hmm. Well, you remember a lot of the years, but you just remember the feeling you had at the end of the senior year that you weren't new anymore. You knew what you were doing. Um, so now being the newbies, you come in um, having to learn a new system. I'm sure it's very different defensively mm -hmm. you know what we do and then just how we practice and I think that you all have shown great development through so now we're in the grind um, you know second half of the PSAC season uh, just uh, you know Slippery Rock was our our first time that we were going two times uh, talk to me about you know this team in terms of Lauren you know where where we are um, how you think we've got there and what we need to go to do to get better you know where 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 do you think we are right now um, I think we're a decent team right now. I think we definitely still have a lot to improve on, a lot to work on. Um, we definitely have to work on getting to be a great team. Right now we kind of play our opponent's level, and that's not what great teams do. They play consistent every game. They play the same every game. So I just think we need to put a lot more work in, a lot more focus, but I definitely think it's possible with the team we have. Yeah, and, and Maya, talk to me a little bit about your teammates. Um, how did you get to, you, you're, you have a really great person, both of you have really great personalities, but you guys are really close with your teammates. Um, mm -hmm. I know that you live with a lot of the freshmen um, on the same floor, and you know, even upperclassmen, you guys are really close with, and a lot of uh, people that have come on the show have attributed our chemistry to our freshman class coming in, having great personalities, kind of bringing each other. How did you develop relationships with your teammates, Maya? Um, well, just bonding in practice and outside of practice. Like everybody was so cool, like in like bringing you in, trying to teach you new things. Like the se especially the seniors, junior, everybody. They was trying to teach you the ropes and the courses of it. There was nobody that excluded you. Nothing. If you need a help, they always ask to be there for you all that day. So sense said this, of family? Yeah. Do you feel that every day? Yeah. yeah. No matter, even when we do argue and stuff like that and we have our little like... You get through it. Yeah, we get through it. The next day, we act like nothing happened. Well, what would That's be a family? family That's what family yeah. does. What would be a family if you did, if everything was you know, wonderful, peachy every single second. Right. But that's one thing I do to love about this team is kind of the bounce back. Um, and, and hopefully, you know, talk about bounce back. Uh, it's very difficult, I'm sure, that you don't, you come in, we lost one early to Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. um, unusual for, you know, you come in and you win games and everything is going the way you had planned. Mm -hmm. um, you have a loss to Edinburgh, made our way, bounce back, and then have a tough loss against Slippery Rock. Um, LB, tell us a little bit about how you personally bounce back from a loss or how you view it and, and what you do to get better. Um, I definitely let it sit on my shoulder, like a little chip on my shoulder in a way, like just gives me more motivation to work harder. Um, I definitely don't sit and reminisce on it. You know, it's a loss. It's going to happen. Every team's going to lose. Not every team's perfect, so you have to let it go. But you definitely have to use it as motivation to just get better. Maya, what about you with losses? How, how, how do you feel about it? Where, where is your head? Um, you know, what do you do to kind of pick up the pieces again? Um, well, like Lauren said, you really don't reminisce on it, but you do want to go back and see what, what happened and what, like, basically... <laughs> a little tech yeah, Listen, a little. that's okay a little technical difficulties there with the microphone you can just kind of hold it out okay um, you can just kind of use it as a microphone um, most exciting part so far LB for you about you know being on this team what what have you loved so much about season and you know what what are some really great things that you like about it so far um, I think my favorite part about it so far is definitely the memories you make on those long trips those overnight trips in the hotels because yeah, the team, we all love to win. We focus and we focus on winning every game. But off the court, we can still have fun. We all still do have great personalities. We still bond together. So I think that that's definitely my one favorite of, part. One of your favorite parts. What about you, Maya? What is something that you really like about, about basketball, about the program? You know, just kind of about anything about Cal U. Um, 
Um, I also like the road trips, but also other than that, I do like practice sometimes because it's not always just about basketball. We actually laugh, have fun, talk about different stuff. Even in film, like we talk about what happened last night before film started. Like we're not just like just straight basketball. We actually have relationships and yeah. it's actually cool. It, and I actually think it's genuine. I think there's a lot of times you know, you can make it seem like, especially if you have recruits on campus. Mm -hmm. One thing I like about this group is how real we, we really are with each other and with people. If people ask you a question, you always give them the right answer. But I think the, the experience has been great so far because you all have put in the work. You guys, you know, as freshmen have earned, you know, respect because you're working and continue to get better. Um, and I think that's really, really important. If you come in and think you know everything and if you come in with, you know, a closed mind, uh, you'll struggle a bit, but I think what you both have done and all of our freshmen have come in with that open mentality, you know, that open mind to, to learn new things and, and to, to understand it. Uh, for you, what, what is the expectation of the program? What have you learned so far um, from the players, from the coaching staff, from being around Cal U, what the expectation is day by day for Cal? Day by day, it's just to get better. It's just to um, push yourself and improve individually to benefit the team. But big picture is definitely to get that championship, whether that be PSAC moving on to national, like mm -hmm. that's definitely the big picture and an expectation at, for our team. But you get that from the work day by day. Um, Maya, for you, what, what, where do you think this program can go? You know, you see yourself with your teammates every day working. You know, what is the expectation that you have of this program? Um, I expect this to win a lot of things. Like she said, the PSAC, the NCAA championship, but that comes with just effort, like fatigue, pushing through fatigue, effort every day, hard work, not giving up, not letting everybody show that you're tired, stuff like that, the little things that add up. What do you think is the hardest thing for you about practice to get when you're in practice and, and we're preparing for games? What, what is it? You know, we talked about all the great things. What is the toughest thing for you to do day by day? And that's just being honest. Wake up every day <laughs> at 5.15. I'm not a morning person. Everybody Have you knows ever been that. a morning person? I've never been a morning person. But you know what? You're better than you said you were. I mean, I remember you said right. you didn't really talk a lot. I feel like you're, you're not in a bad place. Are you getting used to it? I definitely think my body's adjusting to it. There's still some days where I'm like, man, it's going to be really <laughs> tough to get through this day. Like, I know it. But you found but a way. my body's definitely like, getting yeah. used to it. Maya, what is the most difficult thing for you? Um... I think, like, to keep it completely honest and 100, um, <laughs> showing that I'm not tired. Yeah. Yeah, showing Just body language. Through. Yeah, you, body you, language. Do you think that you maybe you think that you're tired before you really are tired? Yeah, I think mentally I tell myself I'm tired and my body's not, but I just think you're it there. and then I just shut down. But working through it. And that you're working through it day by day. And that's the biggest thing I think about being a freshman too is you're learning as well. Like, you know, this is your first go around here. You kind of know the expectations now. And now it's like putting into, putting into practice every single day, you know, what we're asking of you, what your teammates are, are asking you, and basically what the expectation is. Mm -hmm. um, as you think about your future here at Cal U, um, you know, as we're starting to get to the second half of the season and, you know, kind of just, just in a funny way, think, what, what do you think about your future here at Cal? Um, I'm definitely excited to not be the freshman anymore. Um, <laughs> are well, you done with freshman duties? I'm done with freshman <laughs> duties. Laundry parties oh are God, terrible. Um, right. But I think that I'm just more excited to be um, back up top where kind of in high school you kind of knew where, what you were doing. You were teaching the younger kids what you were doing. Um, right now it's just it's really a learning experience. Like I'm learning from all the older girls. They're still giving me advice. They're still teaching me um the way we play, the style of play, um, how to make smarter decisions, what Absolutely. would be a better decision. So I definitely um, value their advice. I respect it. But I'm also excited to kind of um, mentor younger ones in a yeah, way absolutely. because I'm, I don't know, I'm just not used to not knowing what's a going lot. on. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Maya, for you, what, what, what are you looking forward to? Um, like Lauren said, kind of like teaching everybody else, but learning some more myself, like working on it like individually this summer, like by myself, not I know like what's expected, actually like go hard at it, try to perfect it, like never make a mistake again. Well, everybody makes mistakes. But, but, like, but you're trying to yeah, be, yeah, you want yeah. to try to, to 
to perfect everything that you're doing every single day. Yes. And I think that's great. Well, ladies, thank you so much for joining us. I know um, there were a little nerves here about this, but see, it's just a casual <laughs> conversation here. It's nice and easy. It's the Jess Drum Show. We're a family just like sitting down, you know, at, at, at your house with a family member. So, <laughs> well, that's your first half of the Jess Drum Show. We'll be right back with Jess Drum. Welcome back to the second half of the Jess Strom Show. I'm with our head coach, Miss Jess Strom. Good afternoon. It's raining. We bared through the water to get here, but we're here. It's a good day. It's a great day. Any day that we get to be with basketball, I think, is a great day. So um, let's just get right into it. Um, have limited time. Obviously had a great conversation with the two freshmen before you. So, uh, you know, the, since the last time we chatted, some interesting things happening with the team. Go to IUP in a pretty awesome environment that they had there with the big win. Um, another win versus Clarion. And then a tough loss on the road at Slippery Rock. Um, talk to us about the, the past few weeks. Yeah, I think we had some really high highs and then, you know, a kind of low, low. But that's what happens, you know, in, during the basketball season. So, obviously, went up to IUP. They, would, they were then one in the country. Um, big game for us. And I think we just played hard. You know, I think we were excited. They were fired up. And I think it was a great game to watch. You know, both teams, I think, played hard. Um, and we came out on top, which I know we were super excited about. Our kids were excited about. Um, then home, you know, versus Claire, and we had a big win. Finally, I think, you know, had a defensive game that we wanted. Uh, and then went to Slipper Rock. And, you know, Slipper Rock gave us a tough game the first time. Yep. So I don't think we went up there thinking, you know, yep. this is going to be a win for us. I think we went up there very aware that, you know, it could be a good game. And um, just didn't play well. You didn't know? get the job done. Yeah, we just didn't. Like offensively, defensively, we just didn't play well. You know, and, uh, and I guess we'd be naive to think that we aren't going to lose some games during a season. I know you have to. I think it's just the way you lose. You know, early in the season we lost to Edinburgh. And – um disappointed but still felt like we played hard and tough and I think Slipper Rock just played tougher than us you know every loose ball they seem to get um and I feel like when you play that way you you get the bounces you know you make more shots I think it's just they played tougher than us but um you know with this team we just got to bounce back it's a long season we're 18 and 2 you know we're we've put ourselves in a good position so you just have to refocus and then uh be ready for the next one on a personal level how do you handle losses you know, what is, what is it like for you? Um, quick and fast, a little drawn out. You know, tell the viewers, and I'm not even sure of this, you know, because obviously we talk about it as a staff, but I know personally how I handle losses. How do you handle that personally? Yeah, I don't, I don't get too crazy. You know, I know we're not perfect. Um, but especially when we have a day off the next day, it kind of sits with you. It, takes, yeah. it, it cuts. Yeah, it does. So, I mean, we're competitive. So anytime you lose, it's bad. But if maybe if we had practice the next day at least, you kind of, you know, get back at it. But you have all Sunday to just think about oh, it. Oh, it ruined my yeah. Sunday. I you mean, just think let's about just it. be honest. Yeah. Like, you, you want to go and laugh. And, you know, obviously we always enjoy our families and, and our friends. But, you know, that's sitting there right there knowing. I think the problem is knowing that we could have done more to to make that score or that game different yeah you just kind of replay the game and what we could have done differently you know as a coach I think you think about maybe sub differently or different defense you could have been in or you know it's the same as when you're a player Absolutely. you just think about it and for us we have this bye week so now we didn't get a chance you know today we don't have a chance today to for redemption yeah so we have a, a long time to practice which I think is exciting it's an exciting time to have that feeling of redemption because it is a redemption game coming up uh, you know, we have Edinburgh, who we lost to. Um, you know, they scored 99 points, which is very uncharacteristic for the Cal U women's basketball defense. Um, and then have a whole week to sit on a loss. Is it a good thing? Uh, I think this is a good time for us because I think we need to get better. You know, I think we've been making some mistakes that we need to, to fix. And I think that only happens every day in practice. You're not going to go in a game and automatically be able to do something. You know, you have to do it every single day. So I think this was a good time for us. Um, Obviously, we have more time to prepare for Edinburgh, but I think it's more about fixing our mistakes, you know, like working on ourselves. Yep, us, us worrying about Cal U instead of somebody else. Right. Um, isn't that kind of what we have always done? I think, you know, we, we always break down the opponent's scout. We always watch and play, but it's, it's really about what we do. And, you know, like you said, fixing stuff. What do you think makes us us? Yeah, I think obviously our defense does, and I think we've been making too many mistakes 
Um, and it's everyone. It's not a couple people. It's not this person. And I found that this year we have a lot of times where a couple people are doing it right and a couple people doing it wrong. Um, so I think just being consistent. It's huge. I've been saying it a ton this year about consistency. Our effort is always consistent. Always. Always. But mistakes sometimes are not. You know, we have to get better at that. Yep. And, and to go back, I know we have uh, highlights that are going to be for the uh, clearing game. Uh, you know, kind of past the IUP and, and done talking about that. But this past week had clearing. And, and let's talk a little bit about, you know, the defensive effort on this side. Yeah, I think it was huge, um, especially coming out in the first quarter and getting some steals to scores. Um, you know, Abby had a ton. Career. She yeah. had a career day. And I think that all stemmed from her defense. It too. definitely did. And I think that's who she is. You know what I mean? I mean, that's who we are as a program, but that's specifically who she is too as a player. Her defense gets her offense going. So, um, you know, I think we jumped out early, which we haven't been doing lately. So I think it was good for us um, to get a lead and then kind of just build on that and kind of pick up her defensive pressure. Yep. And, and this was one of the first games in a while that I thought, whoo, our defense is going. Like, we're firing on all c cylinders, going from steals to scores. Um, you know, did you get that feeling, Jess? Yeah, and I think, uh, like I said, I think it was from the jump. You know, I think very early we jumped on them defensively, and then our best game is when we're doing that, running, pushing the floor. Um, you know, when we get in a half-court game, it's not usually to our advantage. You know, we want to go. And most of these, you see these clips. Like, steals the scores. Steals the scores. Um, just pushing the tempo. It's, it's what we want to do. Um, you know, so I think this game we definitely came out and did that. Yeah, absolutely. And and, and it felt like the, the pace never really stopped. Um, you know, we were kind of on point on, on what we were doing, had that energy. It didn't matter what the score was. We were still going at a pace that we wanted to go. Is that something that you want to get back to and focus on? For sure. And I think it didn't really matter who was in the game either. You see here... Um, you know, a couple subs in, and the expectation doesn't doesn't change. And I think they just jumped in and played very much the same way. Um, you know, up tempo, getting easy layups. Yep, and and obviously, uh, you know, in the fourth quarter, had some different people in, and really liked some of the stuff that we saw. Uh, like you said, the expectation doesn't change with um, you know different lineups we have in. And there's Shauna Harrison and. Um, you know, her ability and, and where she's going to be is going to be unbelievable as she continues to, to get better. But there is the score, 91-62, um, Abby Sporia with 22 points. Uh, so we go right from a great, um, a great game for us defensively and as we prepare for Slippery Rock. Uh, what was the mentality that you had going in? Well, you know, I think it's just the same as it always is. You know, I think we just have to play smart and then just tough. And like I said, I don't think we played super tough when yep. we went up to Slippery Rock. Um, and defensively, we just let them do what they wanted to do. Yeah, and it's always tough. You want to talk excited, like you want to talk about highlights, but it's tough when you lose a game and you see highlights. You know, it's tough to find, you know, something to be excited about. However, there are there were some great things that happened in this game, and you know, some plays that uh, you know Sierra had made or some some stuff, but. Like you said, you didn't feel like the, that the, the effort all around was there. Yeah, and it was at times. Again, you talk consistency because, um, you know, we got down in this game, again, which we have done this year a few times, um, and came back. You know, so I think it's a fight. They do have a fight. We obviously come back um, when we need to, but I think it was just, you know, we came all the way back and got up one, and when you have to fight all the way back, it's hard to have something in your tank left to make that final push and um, you know they just got us in the end in the fourth quarter yeah and and as you see uh, you know didn't didn't turn them over defensively as much as we would have liked to where you get the opportunity to go in transition see and that's the one of the things about Cal Q is you know if we're in a slowed down game that's not where we're best at we can still score obviously um, and there's Brie Allen really quick before we talk about his freshman of the week um, this week in the conference uh, had some two really really strong games yeah and she's been you know, pretty consistent for us as a freshman coming in and just playing hard. You know, it's just she brings something different every game, whether it's rebounding, whether it's taking a charge, whether it's scoring. Um, but she consistently comes in and gives us a spark, which is huge as a freshman. Um, so I'm really glad she got that second one, you know, earlier this season. Yeah, got to love Shana. when you, you get a freshman from your program. Um, just knowing that they're getting better day by day um, with what's going on. And there's some, some big buckets. Sierra Barrett, towards the end of this game, was 
was who we were trying to go to. And I thought she handled that really, really well. We had asked her to do a lot during this game at the end. Yeah, we, we did. I mean, she's our go-to. She's our All-American. So when the game is online, that's who you're going to go to offensively. I think just when we went to her, um, we just stood a little bit too much. You know, we were like, come on, see, please, do something, please. But she was doing all that she could. So, uh, you know, but we took it on the chin, and now we have to come back, and we got to refocus. Yeah, you just have to face the facts. And I think that one thing that we're always really honest here about Cal Unit, the one thing I think that we learned from you is, you know, you have to face the music. Um, we don't shy away from the fact, you know, what people say, yeah, we didn't get it done. Um, and do you think that's kind of how you always been? Yeah, been? I, I think you have to be. You have to be realistic about it. You know, we can't come out of that game and say we played well. We just didn't get it. You know, we just didn't get that win. No, we didn't play well. So I think you have to learn. If you're going to be honest with yourself, that's how you learn. So, um, you know, I hope we learn from it. we got to get better. Yeah. And day. a credit to Slippery Rock because they came in and, and played a good game. Um, you know, their record at that time, 8-11 and 11 at that point, um, taking a couple of losses previously. But they came in ready to play. Um, and as you can see, the, the standings, uh, we were up there in the one spot, back of the two. Um, and, and still, something to be, to be excited about, big games coming up uh, You know, at this spot. You have the two team and the three team getting ready to have a, a, a big time battle. And I know that with the bye weeks, trying to get everybody healthy, trying to get some ample rest, what do you do with the bye week? Um, I think it just depends on how your season is going. You know, it just depends on the year. But I think at this time, we need to work hard. You know, I think this isn't like a rest week for us. This is get after it week. So I think we've been practicing pretty hard. Yeah, and, and I think the players knew that coming in. I think after sitting down on Sunday, when we were ready to go on Monday, it was back to business. Um, what are you excited about? this Edinburgh game coming up? Just the opportunity. You know, I think they're a good team. They're always a good team. I think they don't necessarily like us very much, probably because we've played each other so many times in the last few years. And always so close in the standings. Too. Yeah, we're always right there. So I think it's just a huge game. It's a big game for us in the PSAC. It's a big game regionally for us. So just the excitement of getting the opportunity. Yeah, and isn't that what it's all about is, you know, as the program and as us as, as coaches, as, you know, the girls as players, as isn't that why you play the game? To have that chance to, to make it all right again. It, it does, it, nothing's wrong, <laughs> but it feels like after you come off a loss, like you have to get after, after it to get back to the normal, what we feel. Right. Yeah. You know? It's just an opportunity. Yep. It's a great opportunity to get going again. Well, that's it for the Jess Strom Show. Uh, upcoming schedule, obviously 1 p.m. on Saturday, February 9th. Big home game versus Edinburgh. Then uh, that's three in a row at home. Uh, then we have on the 13th, Gannon the 16th, Pitt Johnstown, and then um, our first away game, and that will be in, what, three games? And then right to IUP um, on, or I'm sorry, right back home versus IUP. Um, so that's our upcoming schedule, folks. would love to have you in attendance. Uh, thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of your week.